Hi guys, so like you see my train portal is on my Mac and I'm so happy so in this video I'm gonna show you how I did that So I just want to explain it to you guys that I'm not in anglophone So it might be harder for me to explain it to you But I think if I do videos in English, I can improve my English That's why all my videos gonna be in English the first thing I do is I write Sims 4 Tray Importer on Mac. And then uh, the first link you see is the right one. After that, I have noticed that I have an update to 202030. So if you scroll the page, you will see troubleshooting. You click on that and it will give you all the steps to process for uh, download the Sims 4 Tray Importer on Mac. So the first step they tell you is to download Mono. So I scroll the page and go to the link of Mono. The one you need to download is Visual Studio Channel. So you click on that and it download and you do you process to the installation. The next step after downloading Mono is to download the file. So I have already downloaded the file, but I will show you how to do that. So my file is here. I will go to Finder on Download. And then I will take the tray importer and put it on my applications. Like you see, the Sims 4 Trend Portal is in my application, but when I click on it, it can be open. So, the next step is to go to your system preference and agree the Sims 4 Trend Portal to be open. And this is where people always got problems. Steps are not really explained on the website, that's why you need to listen. You go to System Privacy. Here, it's supposed to be allow to the Sims 4 Tray and Porter to be open. When this is done, you can exit. After that, you know to Fact, and you see it's right Open Application Utility Terminal, and it have a big sentence. That's what we need to copy past so you go to launch pad and after that to the application you see where it's utility you go to terminal and you need to copy past all that so I'm gonna do that right now After it's copying pass, you just click enter and everything supposed to work. I can't explain why we have to do that, but I think we have to do that on Mac. After that, you go back to the Sims 4 Trend Portal on your application and you just click right on the Sims 4 Trend Portal and open. And it's here! Voila! So you can see that my Sims 4 Train Potter is open and everything works perfectly. Thank you guys for watching this video. There will be more video coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.